Hey guys, welcome back to Easy Programming. I know I haven't made any programming tutorials in a while. That's because I've had stuff come up. I realized that my f last video was almost two months ago, back in November 2010. Uh, but today, as a little comeback video, I'm going to show you something very simple. Uh, this is the cn.get. I've had a lot of people comment on my videos telling me that cn.get is a lot better than system pause, which is down here. Uh, it's because I guess it's more efficient. I do know how to use cget, uh, cn.get, but I don't use it as uh, use it as much. Uh, like I said, I'm not an expert. I'm I'm still not sure what would be more appropriate to use where. But today I'm going to show you how to actually use it, how to use it instead of system pause. Um, what the program you see in front of you is a random number generator that I uh, showed you a few months ago. I would explain everything to you, but for a better explanation, more in-depth explanation, I recommend you visit that video. But just to go through it, uh, I include a C time, uh, which is needed for this little function over here. And then you have CSTDLIB that is needed for the random, the random and the SRAND commands over here. Um, but again, I won't go too much into it. It can take a lot of time. And the, but the point of this program is to generate a random number for you after taking in what your maximum value is. Of course, it starts off at zero. It goes from zero to let's say you want to go to a hundred. So I'm going to run this program for you and show you what it looks like in the beginning. It'll run five times because of the loop right here, the for loop. So let's do it. It says please input max integer. Let's do 10. Press enter. It gives you a random number at 5. We'll run it again. Do 20. Random number at 12. We'll do 50. Random number at 42. We'll do 100. Random number at 51. One second, there's no pattern. It's all random. And finally, we'll do 75. The system pause part of this program is the part that says, please press any key to continue. Any, when we press any key, uh, it disappears. It closes. Cn.get uh, makes it so that nothing shows up when you press enter, the program closes. I'm going to show that to you right now. It's pretty simple. You just cn.get, you know, sometimes that thing comes up. You do open and close parentheses, you put a colon, semicolon. Sometimes this works, sometimes it doesn't. I've used different versions of C++ in the past. I've I've had it work like this uh, pretty easily on other versions, but in 2008, for some reason, it doesn't work. I'll show you. I press run. And, well, actually, it runs, uh, but it will not wait for me. Let's do 5, 5, 5, 5, and 5. This is the fifth one. Press enter and it closes, it doesn't wait for you. So to get past this, uh, you go on top of cn.get, you do cn.ignore. Uh, it's something that I've figured out. And let's look at it right now. I'll just run it five times quickly. Five times and five. This is the fifth one. Press enter, and look, it sticks. And this time it doesn't say, please press any key to continue. When you press enter, it closes. Uh, there are other ways to implement cn.get, but like I said, I'm not an expert on this. I'm usually used to using system pause, and I think system pause is a little bit better for beginners. As you can see what's happening, um, you can enter it, you can enter system pause in many parts of the program, and it'll continue when you press enter, or when you press space, or you, when you enter anything else. So I think, um, I mean, cn.get is here for you to use. Once again, the random number generator program is here, as well as well as my other tutorials. I know this tutorial wasn't that big, but like I said, it's a little comeback video. I've been gone for almost two months with my programming, so I haven't uh, worked on anything recently. But hopefully, over the next month, I'll get you. I'll be posting more videos. Uh, so, well, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the comments you've given and. Remember to subscribe.